Let's face it, whether you're a dropshipper, brand owner, agency owner, or freelancer, if you're not taking advantage of advertising on TikTok, you are missing out on some serious gains. Most people who start advertising on TikTok, whether that's organically or using the paid TikTok ads manager, seem to think that there's some sort of winning media buying strategy that's just gonna have them getting insanely low CPMs or single digit CPAs. As you can see, brand right now is at $25,000 in sales for this month and the month has just begun. But after scaling a brand new brand to multiple six figures per month using TikTok ads and spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on the platform, I can confidently tell you that the only thing that you need to do insanely well is the creatives. The platform is so fast paced, people on it have the attention spans of a goldfish telling you right now the only way to succeed is to create content consistently that sets you apart from the rest. So today, you're gonna learn for free exactly how I create high converting viral TikTok ads that promote my e-commerce products and services that work for both posting organically and on the paid ads management platform as well. But first, I didn't wanna just shovel this information down your throat without showing you any real life examples. So I actually found a Wow Factor product to sell this summer, ordered it into my house, and then went out and shot viral organic TikTok ads with it. And just before we get started, I do wanna announce the weekly giveaway to win a custom built Shopify dropshipping store built by my team here at Outright Ecom. Three simple steps to win. All you have to do is smash a big like on this video, comment something insightful down below, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Those three things, you're automatically entered for your chance to win, and the winner will be announced in my next week's video. And while you're down in the section below, the first link in the description is actually a link to book a discovery call if you are interested in seeing how my team here at Outright Ecom can help you with your e-commerce goals this year. All right, so recently I attempted a $0 dropshipping challenge with a Wow Factor product that I could promote purely organically using the power of TikTok so that I can show you firsthand exactly what I do to promote my businesses. Now, before I start revealing all the secrets to creating viral high converting TikToks to promote your brand, I just wanna show you a few of the ads from this challenge that performed very well so you can get an idea of what it is that we're gonna be talking about. Now, I won't go through every single one. We actually made 10 different ads in the one shoot, but I'll show you a couple of them that performed quite well on the challenge, which by the way, if you do wanna see the full challenge video, I'll leave a link to that video somewhere up here. My bro got new shorts, so we went Went to the beach for a photo shoot. Then he showed me the reason he bought them. Gonna go buy myself a pair for the summer now. So the product I was selling was, as you guys could tell, the color changing swim shorts. It's a pretty popular dropshipping product over the years on Facebook but I figured it needed some love on TikTok. It had all the right elements and that wow factor that'll catch people's attention in the first couple seconds. So that's exactly what I did. And all I did was I went out and grabbed my friend to use as the model. You can do that if you have a friend or family member who would fit with what you're selling. Just simply ask them, you know, maybe pay them a small amount of money and go out and do a little shoot with them. So now that you have an idea about what I'm talking about, don't worry, you don't have to shoot all the content yourself and I'm gonna talk about that as well. Let me start showing you how I did this and how you can get other types of content created for your brand as well and the keys to what I do for promoting all my brands and finding success on TikTok, both organically and paid right now. All right, so first things first, before you even think about creating an advertisement on TikTok, you must understand these two things. First one is that you really need to understand your customer and the audience. Okay, so who's your target market? Who are you appealing to? What types of content do they wanna see on the platform, et cetera, et cetera. Next thing is you wanna make sure that you're planning your pieces of content out to be somewhere between eight to 15 seconds long. Remember when I said people have the attention spans of a goldfish on TikTok? That's entirely true. So I found if you go over this time limit, your watch time is likely gonna suffer, which is gonna to lead to decreased performance in your ads. Now starting off with what not to do, here's a couple examples of ads that just wouldn't work, okay? And big brands make these mistakes all the time, not only on TikTok, but just in general. And that's having massive sales callouts like this, simple images or GIFs, and ads that just simply look like ads, right? The whole point of TikTok is it's a new platform where you're supposed to be creative and you're not supposed to just slap up a sales callout and expect people to buy your product. Now let's talk about what to do right, okay? so. Vertical video style, ideally shot on an iPhone with the best camera. The newer the iPhone, the better, but in the beginning, anything will work. 
Next, you wanna have fast jump cut style videos. Okay, so again, attention spans of a goldfish over here, you have to cater to that. So you have to keep the content, the clip short, catchy, and coming in every single video. The next is that you wanna keep it as raw and authentic as possible. So this goes back to what I was saying before, don't make the advertisement look like an ad. And it's a fine line you have to walk because you want it to be high converting and you want people to go on your site and actually buy your product. But at the same time, if you make it look too much like an ad and you're just preaching the benefits over and over again of this product and why somebody should buy it, they'll probably just keep scrolling. And lastly, you wanna follow trends, use clever sounds, text overlays, and the key here is to have your audience reading, listening, and viewing at the same time. If you can touch on all three of these sensory points at once, your watch time is gonna go up, your views are gonna go up, your engagement's gonna go up, you're gonna start reaching more people and hopefully getting more sales. I mean, think about it. When somebody's reading something, they're also listening to the audio or the music, and they're also watching something at the same time, they are super, super immersed in your content. And likely that's gonna push them over the edge to actually check out your website. Now talking about the style of content that works on TikTok, both organically and paid, it's called UGC or user generated content. And this is that native style content that I'm talking about where you just pick up an iPhone and you shoot something yourself. Now, the few different ways that you can do this is in the form of testimonials, unboxings, reviews, lifestyle slash product in use slash how to use and creative and silly scenarios potentially also crazy scenarios the bottom two is kind of what i did for the swim shorts but if you hire people you can have amazing amazing results to have them unbox your product give a solid testimonial and review of the product and all five of these styles have performed very well for me and they're all very important to test on any brand so let's talk about how do you actually go about getting this content created for you right so there's a few different ways Firstly, if you don't want to do it yourself, that's completely fine. There's tons of ways around this. TikTok Creator Marketplace is a great place where you can go and you can see other creators on TikTok who are listing their services up and you can simply purchase directly from them. It's almost like an Uber or an Airbnb where you, know, you have people looking to rent a home and then you have homeowners listing their home. It's the same idea except in this case, you have people like us looking to get content for a TikTok and then you have creators looking to create content for your TikTok and you can get matched up through that platform. Now the exact same thing is true for Collabster. It's not through TikTok, but it's a third party website that I personally use myself and I've found very, very helpful for finding solid creators to do this work for you. The next is getting freelancers and you can find them on Fiverr or Upwork or various places um, and same idea, you know, so somebody's gonna be listing the fact that they can do content creation and you're gonna be purchasing those packages for them, potentially sending them out the product and having them film exactly what you want. The next one, of course, is leveraging your own network. So this is exactly what I did with the swim shorts. I simply just grabbed my friend, uh, had him wear the shorts, paid him 50 bucks for the day and we went out and did a big shoot. Now, obviously you wanna choose someone that relates to the product, right? So if you were, you know, selling a feminine product, I probably wouldn't have got my friend who's a six foot four male to advertise that product for me, right? I probably would have got my mom or, you know, if it's an older demographic, maybe my grandma or something like that. So you got, got to get creative and I'm sure people in your own network, family, friends would be more than willing to help you out, especially if you give them a little bit of compensation for their time as well. Lastly, we have influencers and celebrities. I personally found the best way to do this is to just DM them through Instagram. Honestly, just shoot your shot, create a list, send as many out as possible. You never know what might happen and you might just secure yourself a content deal with one of them. And lastly, I think this is the part that people struggle with the most, but this is my organic posting strategy for success on TikTok. So it starts with your profile setup. If you have a TikTok account that has under a thousand followers, you need to have an Instagram account set up. Why? So that you can have your landing page in your Instagram bio and you can push all that traffic from TikTok over to Instagram and then they can click on the link in your bio and shop your products. If you have over a thousand followers, TikTok will actually let you put the link straight in the bio. So the goal is would be to get to a thousand followers, but until then you can set up an Instagram account and drive traffic there. Next, you wanna aim for three posts a day. So you wanna have as much content coming in as possible if you're going the organic route. Now paid is a little bit different. What I like to do for paid is I like to take my best performing organic creatives and then test them on a TikTok ads manager and see how they perform. But I'd recommend having both going simultaneously because even with paid TikTok creatives, they might do insanely well for a bit and then they might die off. I find the life cycle is very, very short. So if you have a solid organic posting strategy in place, it's just gonna make your life so much easier when it comes to the paid ad side of things. So I recommend three posts a day, 
make sure they're quality and have three to four hashtags in every single post that relate to the product, relate to what's going on in the video, and then try to use trending sounds, try to follow any trends that are out there right now on TikTok, and then pin one comment. For whatever reason, I guess it boosts engagement, has people go to the comments, read your comment that you pinned, maybe comment something down below, which increases watch time, et cetera, et cetera. But try to have one comment pinned on every single post. The next thing you wanna make sure posts are minimum 45 minutes apart. For whatever reason, the algorithm doesn't like if you just spam out a bunch of posts back to back to back to back. So whenever you go and you make a bunch of posts in a shoot, make sure you just take a couple hours and post them periodically. Which also brings me to my next point of experiment with different times. See what works best for you, for your product, for your niche. Maybe the morning, maybe the evening, maybe the afternoon. Just try different things and try to figure out what gets the most views. Now this next tip, I haven't heard anyone say it anywhere, but as a creator on TikTok myself, for my personal brand and for my e-commerce brands, I've found time and time again that one of the best ways to jumpstart your growth is to engage with other creators in your niche. And what do I mean by this? I mean, cater your For You page to only see content that are similar to what you're creating. So if you're a lifestyle or a productivity creator, or let's say you're selling a basketball, cater your entire feed to basketball players, to other people selling basketballs, etc. Like all those posts, follow all those accounts. I guess my best running hypothesis for why this works so well right now is that TikTok, based on what you're viewing, will categorize you into a certain niche. And then when you start posting, it'll start spitting out your post to that niche that it categorized you in, if that makes sense. And the final two is just engage with your own followers, reply to all the comments, like people's comments, chat with people in the DMs, just use the app as it's intended to be used to its fullest and TikTok seems to reward you for doing that as well. And lastly, remove any spam comments. People are trying to sell crap in your comment section of your videos or bait your followers over to their page to buy some Forex or cryptocurrency bullshit. Make sure that you remove those, you report them, because it's only gonna make you look less credible, clutter your feed, and also take away from some of your potential customers. Quick interruption to announce, congratulations to Kari West for winning the custom built store from my last week's video. Go ahead and shoot me a DM on Instagram. We'll get right in the works of setting up your store. And same rules apply, guys. Remember, three things you gotta do, and you have a chance to win your own custom built dropshipping store built by me and my team, announced in my next week's video. But that's actually it for this week's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you found this video informative. I dropped a lot of golden nuggets. I know I went over things very, very quickly. If you need my help, DMs are always open. I also have a full dropshipping course I posted which covers this and a lot more right here, a bit more in depth if you guys wanna go check it out. But lastly, I just wanna say from the bottom of my heart, I'm super, super grateful for every single one of you guys. You guys have been showing me an insane amount of love and sending me the nicest messages and comments. It makes me feel so good about what I'm doing and I wake up every single day excited to keep dropping value bombs for you guys like this and keep helping you guys with your e-commerce journey. We're going to 100K this year on YouTube. Mark my words, I'm gonna keep putting out fire content. Thank you guys so much for being on this journey with me and I'll see you guys in the next week's video. Peace.